Hi, welcome to automation testing. In in this video, we will see find desktop application elements using inspect tool. Okay, so how to find the desktop application elements using inspect tool? So to just to, to get the inspect tool, we installed Windows SDK that we have seen in our one of the previous videos just to get the inspect tool. So first we'll see where we can find the inspect tool. So go to the PC and go to your C drive. In the C drive, go to the program files x86. And then inside this, we need to go to Windows Kits and go to the folder 10. Inside this, go to bin and inside the latest version of this one 10.0.1904. 1.0 open this so inside this go to x64 and here you will find the inspect.exe so just go to the location where yeah this is the one inspect.exe just double click on this so then it will open this application so just for now just minimize this so this is the location where you'll find the inspect, right? So location of inspect.exe file in your Windows 10 machine. Okay, what is that location? So this is the location. Okay, so once you go there, you'll find the inspect.exe. Just double click and launch that. Okay. Once you launch, so this is the UI of that particular inspect.exe. In the left side, you will find all the applications which are open in your machine. Okay. The left side, sorry, the right side, you will have all the properties. Okay. So now the application which I'm going to take is, so one of the things uh, which you need to remember is once you open this inspect.exe wherever you click it will try to identify that particular element irrespective of your, uh, anything like on the desktop whether it is uh, so you see that when you click on this when you hover on this home you see the right side you'll find all the properties you see that home right the name of that control is home and you'll have another properties so sometimes it will irritate you so, but uh, one of the, what you say, the tools, the rich tools, you'll find all the properties. So to avoid that, just minimize this first and you open the application, what you want. So you go to this D drive. So you have banking system and you open this, you'll find bank system.exe. You just double click on this. So this is the sample application of which we are going to automate. Okay. So here, just an example, I want to inspect this email. I want to inspect this password means the text boxes. I want to type something and I want to click on login. Okay. Whether it will log in or not, that is not our, our motto, just whether we are able to identify these elements and we are able to interact with that elements or not. Okay. So I'll take some dummy user email and dummy password. Okay. So when you take dummy, when you click on login, so it will give you that error that please correct your email and password and try again. Okay. So now I want to inspect these elements. Now you open the inspect.exe. Okay, I need only these elements. So when you hover on this admin, okay? So here you see bank system window, okay? So this is bank system right here. So you, you'll find bank system window and you'll find all the elements inside that, okay? So when you hover on this email, you see that this is an edit box and the right side, you'll find all the properties. So this is one of the property called name. And uh, when you come down, you see that runtime ID. 
this is id and you will not you know this is not user friendly okay but but if you do not have any other go then you can try this but just try if you have any other properties okay we have seen name is not there runtime id is there and you have class name but class name might be duplicate for other text uh, sorry text boxes also so and you have any other thing and uh, what are the properties which we discussed do we have accessibility id you see that localized control type this is edit so localized control type means what is that tag name so if it is tag you will have you might have multiple tags with the same name right so this is edit and password is also edit okay so i'll hover on this so then you have automation id okay em log all right so i will use this automation id okay automation id means accessibility id what is that em log okay so and i'll open the program which we already written for the previous video how to set up winamp driver right so the i took the same winamp driver test test case and instead of calculator application i changed it to banking system exe file okay so that is the only change i have done now and the server is running you see that the server is running i started the winamp driver server now windows driver driver equals to new windows driver and the new url you have to provide that winamp driver server url and the capabilities okay so now i'll try to write driver dot find element okay find element by accessibility id you see that i'll just click on this you see find element by accessibility id what is that id so em log right sorry what is that i'll inspect again so you will find accessibility id sorry automation id means automation id means accessibility id em log so i'll go here you see that that will open and the method what we need to use the same send keys okay the send keys method is to type something in the text box right so i'll i'll write email at the rate gmail.com is a dummy email i'm providing okay so i found that em log means uh, email and i'm typing something into that send keys is a method to type something into text box and this is same for selenium web driver also so now i will inspect the password okay so hover on this password so you can find name is not there the tag name is edit and when you come out you see that automation id pass log okay pass log so i'll minimize this i'll open this driver dot find element by sorry i have an issue with my keyboard so driver dot find element by the same thing accessibility id and you have to use what this one pass log dot 
send keys. So what is the send keys I'm using? I'll just mention only password. Okay. Whatever you want, you just I'm giving dummy password. So I have typed password in this. Okay. So driver dot find element by accessibility ID and this one. Again, I want to click on login button. So I'll open the inspect. So I'll hover on the login. So the moment when you see login, you see that name. Name is available. The name is login. So you have automation ID also button two. Okay. You have button two and the name is login. So I'll use the name instead of using the same thing. I'll use name. Name is login. Okay. So I'll minimize this. Driver dot find element by name. I want. You see that find element by name. The name is what is that name? login okay so what you can do on a button you need to click on this dot click is a method to click okay driver dot find element by name login dot click that's it i found the email text box password text box and login button and remaining things are same now the server is running so i can execute this so just i'll close this and just observe whether it is typing these things or not so i'll just run this so now it should launch banking application it opened you see that email at the gmail.com password login you see that so it typed everything in that email at the gmail.com and password click on login so these are incorrect credentials so i'm getting the error please correct your email and then password and try again okay so that's all okay this is how you can find the elements using inspect.exe and you can automate your application i have taken one sample application i try to find some of the elements and i'm able to execute so how you how i find the elements using inspect.exe tool okay so in our upcoming videos we will use different type of locators and we'll try to automate that particular application but here just how to use that inspect.exe okay that is the motto okay so that's all in this video thank you for watching this video so before concluding please subscribe to my youtube channel for further and interesting updates